Hello there everybody, I am back with a new Christmas video and this one I am very looking forward to making. So let's make it right now! <laughs> so today's video is about a classic Christmas movie, Home Alone. And I am wearing a Home Alone shirt in honor. And it says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Classic line from the classic movie. So Home Alone... Well, like I said, it's a classic. I love the movie Home Alone, one of my favorites. I watch one and two every year, you know, Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2, the real Home Alones. And it's fun for the whole family, really. Yeah, has a heartwarming message about family and a lot of fun scenes. A lot of fun scenes, like the traps. Oh man, the traps. So that's one of the main reasons that most people watch Home Alone, I believe. Me included. Those traps are very, very fun to watch. So let's watch one of them. I love that so much. I love Home Alone. One and two, the real Home Alones. Also, thank you, Hayden, for getting me these clips. Link to his channel will be in the description below. You, you should go subscribe to him, please. Yeah, Home Alone is just so great. It's funny. It's heartwarming. It's pretty much an ideal Christmas movie. And you look at it, and it's... On paper, it might not seem like the ideal Christmas movie. But hey, it is. Just emptying stuff from my pocket. And yeah. Love the first two Home Alones, because they're the real ones. And that's what I grew up on, pretty much. Home Alone 1... Classic, they leave Kevin home alone, hence the title Home Alone. And he protects his house from robbers after doing whatever he wants. Because, so like, yeah, pretty much. It's really funny, really heartwarming, because Kevin learns that Christmas is best when you spend it with family. Because it is. But really funny traps like that iron scene. And the paint can scene. And so many more. And in Home Alone 2, Kevin gets lost in New York after getting on the wrong plane. And he's in New York City. And there, guess what? He bumps into Harry and Merv again, who have broken out of jail. And this takes place like one or two years. Afterwards, I don't know about the time frame it takes place afterwards. It's, we don't know. Because he's 8 in the first one, but 10 in the second one. Who knows? But pretty much, it's very similar to the first, which is probably why I love it so much and other people love it so much. But pretty much, in this one, Kevin becomes a hero to all the sick children of the hospital. Because Harry and Marv... They want to steal all that money for themselves, like standard bad guy stuff. I'm also pretty sure that Harry and Merv are in Myrtle, because uh, look at this, and it is funny. Okay, kid, give it to me. Yeah, in Home Alone 1, those traps they went through would scar them for life, literally. But in Home Alone 2, I'm pretty sure those traps would... No, not pretty sure. Definitely sure those traps would kill them. But they are immortal. So they cannot die. Which makes it even more fun to watch. And, yeah. Home Alone 1 and 2. Great movies. I highly recommend them. 
for the Christmas season, this Christmas season, and every Christmas season to come after this one. Even in the future, 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 future. Yep. There are also some callbacks with some of the traps from 1 and 2. Like, in Home Alone 1, Harry busts down a Bust open a door only to have a blowtorch light his hair on fire. And in this one, in the second one, what am I talking? I'm talking about both at the same time. In the second one, this happens. You see what I mean about Harry and Marv being immortal? Yeah. But all in all, Home Alone 1 and 2, great movies. Highly recommend them. Go watch them. I'm going to watch them again this Christmas season, and you should too. What was that strand of hair doing? I don't know, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and go watch Home Alone. And please don't forget... This Christmas season, whether you're running on ice, uh, something setting up traps, don't forget to tie your shoe.